Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimba Bushcraft. Today I'm in my backyard. I want to show you the things I'm bringing, new things I'm bringing to the Viking market, uh, Viking camp uh, this weekend. Uh, I made uh, this stool, this little table or uh, bench, uh, this chair, and this shelf, uh, myself, and uh, my lantern, and uh, yeah, and my little uh, Viking chest. So I bring you a little bit closer. I talk a little bit about uh, the items and uh, uh, the thoughts behind it, and uh, and some of them have some features uh, I think you will like. First, my little Viking chest I made. Um, I can open it here, and in here I have some tools, carving tools, and so on I can use. And um, it's actually uh, these fittings. Are from the old chests, I put it on here because it's smaller. Uh, it suits it very nicely. You can see here, I burned in some ornaments from a Viking age and uh, put it th this on too. So this is my little new Viking chest. It's made out of uh, pine wood, and I burned it so it looks uh, old. Yeah, and uh, the next thing. I made this a new lantern uh, from um, from oak, and uh, it's it's having a a big candle in, so it's more authentic, and uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, in my Viking tent. And then uh, this thing I bought, it's a pot from a, what do you call a pot maker here in Denmark. It's made like uh, the old um, uh, pots from the Iron Age. And uh, I'm going to try to cook my food in this, uh, see if it holds the heat. I think so. Um, it's very promising. I like it. Uh, it uh, can hold about 1.5 liter. And uh, then this a little bench or a table, uh, I think I'm going to use it to lay my stuff on that I'm trying to sell on the Viking market, my uh, copper fibulas and so on, and uh, some leather works. Yeah, and uh, I can remove the legs so it's easy to transport. And as I said in my previous video, I got some oak planks from a uh, good friend Johnny. And uh, this is made out of these. So uh, my little my little table or uh, bench that I can sit on and use for other stuff. And uh, then the, this one uh, bookshelf. Uh, don't know what it's called, uh, but I can put things on this. And uh, yeah, you can see the design I made. Uh, and Again, made of oak from Johnny. I can pull it apart like this.
and again easy to transport like this yeah and here's some details of how I made it I cut them out like this so we can lean on here and uh, here my Viking chair uh, the leather on top is from my old chair uh, now I got some some oak wood and then I made a new one um, and I, it can also be folded together like this and won't take much room and you can see here this is to stabilize it and uh, yeah when I do this the pressure is three points these two and the top here so I think it's a good chair good solution and I'm looking forward to sit on it it's very comfortable uh, to sit on and then uh, this one stool you can see here and again I can loosen this and uh, and transport it very easy yeah and lastly uh, the same company that makes the Caldrone medieval craft also made this, make this, and uh, I bought one from them. It's actually a, a tent heater, a warmer, but it can also be used for a fireplace. And you can see here inside, this one can be removed, and uh, you can put firewood in here. And it actually has a little door, so I can feed it here. Very nice, very old school. And I can put my, my lid on, and I also come with this. So when everything gets uh, hot, I can use this. Very cool little thing. I love it, and I'm looking very much forward to using this. Uh, it also have a handle, so you can carry it. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's very heavy. It's very robust and uh, yeah, of course old school. I'm not sure it's uh, exactly Viking, more uh, medieval, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, then I can put my fire anchor over it and uh, cook on this. Yeah, it is so cool. Let's see how it looks inside. There's no holes in the bottom, so not much will come through. I think it will be very safe. And uh, here you can see how it opens and closes. Really nice work. I love it. Yeah, and as I said, just a short video where I show the things I made and bought. Uh, for my uh, Viking market, Viking camp events, and I'm actually going to bring Cornelius a couple of days. It's from uh, Thursday to Sunday, so it's four days I'm going to stay there, and of course, I make a lot of footage from that, so that will be uh, launched probably next weekend. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video and find my items interesting, and uh, hope to see you again on the Viking markets. Bye-bye. Take care.